find the particular solutions for the following. So first, we express d by dx as a subject. As we can see here, our variable of x can be factorized out where this is dx squared times x when you power negative at denominator when you take out negative negative become positive so this is a factor of x and this is a factor of y so this question can be using separable so factor of y we move back to the left hand side and dx we multiply it to the right hand side then we integrate both sides so to integrate this we rewrite the bracket of this linear to be the power form so this is e to the power of x squared times x. When you want to integrate this, this is using formula number 3, a bracket of linear. So for this one, it will be our formula number 4, special form. When we integrate e to the power of fx, at the side here, we have f prime x. We can give us e fx plus c. As we can see here, our power is x squared. Once we differentiate this power, supposedly we get 2x. So we multiply by 2 and divide by 2. So this integration will be integrated using formula directly. So a bracket of linear, it will be power plus 1 over new power. Then coefficient of this linear will be 1. And then for this one, efx with the f prime at the side, so it will give us e to fx, then plus c. So what we need to do next is simplify in general form. So power negative will be at denominator. Then this negative, we simplify it to the right hand side. So negative c plus c is still the same things. Then we want to inverse this fraction, so we get same to the denominator. So where here we times 2. Then when we inverse it, then lastly, y will be equals to 2 over negative e x squared. As 2c also constant, so I remain it at constant c, then minus 2. Therefore, this is our general solution. Then based on the value that gives us when x is 0, y is 0, we will substitute x equals to 0, y equals to 0. So e power of 0 to find out the c. So move back the 2 to the left hand side. Then e to the power of 0 is 1. Then we cross multiply it. It will be negative 1 plus c. 2 over 2 is 1. So 1 plus 1, c will be equal to 2. Therefore, our general solution 2 over negative e x squared plus 2 then minus 2. As we want to simplify in a single fraction here, means for this we will multiply with negative e x squared plus 2 so negative 2 times 2 negative 4 then plus 2 negative 2 then negative negative positive 2 e x squared so this is our particular solution